yeah. Rivers here with some cool tech. This is my iMedo MX1. It's an Android mini PC, and I've had some time to use it now, and I wanted to show you uh, a new updated 1080p ROM and some other things I've found to make it a lot easier to use. Uh, let's start with the basics though. First here we've got an HDMI female to female adapter. This comes in really handy because uh, my cables are built into the wall so I can plug this into the Android mini PC and plug the HDMI cable into the other side of it. Next up I've got this USB to Ethernet adapter and this thing has come in really handy actually. Uh, it's only about four bucks. I'll put a link to it down in the description below, but uh, pick one up on Amazon next time you go on there and just throw it in with the rest of your purchase. These things are very useful, and it seems to ping a lot faster than Wi-Fi too, so it speeds up things like surfing the net and uh, just things that use a little bit of information all the time. So I definitely recommend one of these. Uh, I can still stream 1080p video with it as well. Works no problem on that. All right, and now on to the best part. I've got a 1080p custom ROM installed on my iMedo now, and it looks really good. Um, and it's got some extra features that they've uh, installed also that a lot of people were wanting. And uh, I've got HDMI capture now, so you can see how good the image is if you want to take this up to 1080p. So let's go ahead and hook it up and take a look. Oh yeah, here's your 1080p custom ROM. Everything is nice and stable. It's uh, pretty fast. and uh, everything works on here. I've installed Go Launcher HD on here so and a couple other apps so you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, but it works great. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the extra things that they give you. So first off, there's now an option to hide the status bar right here on the status bar. See that button? And you just drag it up to bring it back. So click it, status bar goes away, drag up and it comes back. Also, we've got a power button right here on the status bar. So that'll be easy access if you have a remote instead of a mouse. And this is a fully rooted ROM, so you can install third-party apps that will let you reboot it and turn off the power and things like that as well. So here you can see where the 1080p really makes a difference. If you put your YouTube up into 1080p, you can really see all the details on this on this page. And the old Amido firmware, it was uh, outputting at 1080p, but it was really processing at 720p internally. So. Here you can just see the details. It looks it looks better now. It looks much better, and it's pretty close to the same speed, I'd say. I haven't noticed much slowdown at all. Maybe just a tad bit here and there. I got a 73 at one point on the Linpack, uh, which is pretty fast for the Imedo, one of the fastest ones I've got. But you've got to let it just sit for a while, and kind of, I think it just kind of shuts down the programs that are running in the background. So if you let it sit for like five minutes, it will get a really high score on Linpack. Also, one thing about this ROM, and probably a lot of ROMs, is when you first start up after installing the ROM, it runs a little slower, and that's because it's building the Delvic cache, and it's going to take about half an hour, so you might just let it sit and get that caught up, and maybe even reboot it, and then it should be uh, running nice and fast after that. That's what I've noticed anyways. So here you can see it running a windowed 1080p video along with live wallpaper, and the it's running it no problem. Uh, this video, that's actually in slow motion right there, that part of the video, but it's running really good. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with this ROM. I'll put a link in the description of where you can get it, and there should be instructions also on there of how to install it, and I'll go over it a little bit, how to install it also later in the video. So another thing I did to test out this new ROM is I installed TSF Shell on here, and that's what this is. It's kind of a 3D launcher like uh, maybe Go Launcher, but it's just awesome. It comes with these widgets. Uh, they're all 3D looking um, and tons of other 3D stuff on here as well. Uh, this is exactly what I like to see in a launcher. Just all kinds of extra little animations that just make it look cooler. Uh, it's 16 bucks, but here's where you make up your money. is You buy it for 16 bucks, you get it on your phone, you get it on your Android mini PC, you get it on your tablet. I have three Android mini PCs, so I could put it on all of them if I wanted to. That way you get three for the price of one. That's how I justify it anyways. But I just love as much 3D as possible. That's just me though. So it's got a cool way to manage the files also. You can do this lasso tool. And then it has all these different options. This is the option. I'm going to put them into the favorites. I hold it, drag it over, and then now I've got those in my favorites. Once you add your apps to your favorites, they show up down here, and this is like your taskbar would be, and I, I like that 3D effect, but there's also an option in development to have it just uh, a stationary uh, taskbar, and that's what I like about these guys, is they're, they're actively developing this uh, TSF launcher 
So uh, they're working on that for version 1.8. Okay, I said I was going to tell you how to get the 1080p ROM for your iMedo, so I'll, I'll put links to the installer and to the image file in the description down below. The most difficult part about installing this ROM is getting your iMedo into the right connection mode for your PC. There's no hardware button on this one to reset it into the right mode. You've got to do it through the software on the iMedo. So you've got to go to the settings menu, but it's not the regular setting menu, it's these gear icons here. So you'll get this blue screen, choose advanced settings, and make sure USB debugging is off. You're going to want to make sure that USB settings are connected to the computer, and then choose device, and under uh, USB connection, it should already be on media device, and you're going to want to switch it to mass storage setting. The key is the switching. That's what switches the mode, is switching it from mass storage. You might go from mass storage back to multimedia device. The important thing is that you change states so that the Windows will recognize the new device and not just the mass storage device. When it works correctly, you'll see an unknown device in Device Manager. Right-click that, choose Update Driver, and point it to the USB drivers for the correct version of Windows. Once your drivers are installed correctly, open up the Rock Chip Batch tool. This is your software update tool. You should see this box right here turn pink when you choose Connect to PC. Then hit Switch. It'll go through a little thing. And then hit Update. And then it will write all the uh, image file to the memory. And you're all set. Again, I'll put links to all the software and hardware down in the description below. I hope you enjoy the 1080p ROM for the iMedo as much as I did, and there is also a 1080p ROM for the uh, MK808. I'll try to do a review on that a little later on here, but uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It'll help me out a ton, and uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and as always, aloha.